Meteorologist Hannah Strong here with a little demonstration to explain why some clouds rain and others don't. This is a great one to do with your kids or your family. Very user friendly. You're going to need a bowl of water that you can see into and some shaving cream. All you do spray the shaving cream on the top of the water to make your cloud. Ta da! So now we have a cloud with a flat bottom. So the bottom of a cloud is always going to be flat. We call this the LCL, the lifted condensation level. It's basically a cloud's floor. Every cloud in the sky on a particular day starts at the same level, this LCL. One doesn't start down here and another starts up here. They all start at this level. So there you go. First thing we've learned today. Now you're gonna need some food coloring. I've chosen blue to simulate raindrops. You're gonna just drop a couple of drops here into your cloud. So this cloud has a little bit of rain in it, not a whole lot, and so it's not dropping any rain. A cloud is made to hold water. So a little bit of water, sure, that can stay up in the cloud as long as it needs to. Now, drop a bunch of food coloring into this cloud and watch what happens. This is what we call saturation. The cloud now has too much water in it and it's all gonna fall out. There you go, you can see through a little bit better now. So this cloud has reached saturation. It cannot hold any more water. The dew point and the temperature are the same now inside my cloud. It can't hold any more water, and so the food coloring, just like the rain, falls out of the cloud. This also explains why a thick cloud, like the one we've built here today, can hold on to a little bit more moisture. The thin, wispy clouds that you see in the sky, they can't hold much rain, so they're gonna rain on you much sooner than one of these tall, fl fluffy clouds would. Now, next time you see some clouds move in and we're calling for rain in the forecast, you can do this quick demonstration with the kids in your life to learn a little bit more about clouds being saturated or not and how that can lead to rainfall.